Ukrainian roads are bad. They're, they're not all bad, but, well, let's put it this way. Some places, it's actually better to drive on the side of the road, in the field, than to actually drive on the road. The scariest roads, the roads that I fear the most in Ukraine are the ones that deceive you. The ones where you can be driving along and everything looks great, 50, 60 miles an hour, get your speed up, and then all of a sudden, without warning, you're driving on the surface of the moon. Those are the most dangerous roads. And I fear them because they are very damaging to vehicles. As a result of potholes, at least three times I've gone over a pothole and hit it so hard that it put a big dent in my wheel, like in the rim, the metal part, and, and blew out the tire. Uh, one time, it was so bad that it actually cracked the wheel. Somehow they were able to uh, repair it, they welded it back together. The last time it happened, it put a big dent in the rim and that was in the middle of winter, it's freezing cold outside and I actually just took a hammer and a friend and I, we hammered on it for about a good 10 minutes till we got it more or less back into the position it should be. And it amazingly, miraculously, the tire held air after that. But the scariest thing that happened to me was once my wheel just like fell off. the van and and there's the oil on the floor I hate it when there's oil there okay so here's what happened in a nutshell basically I was supposed to go downtown that day I was with a missionary friend I left the garage and we were driving and I noticed like some sort of a strange feel like every time that I sort of like sped up or stepped on the brakes a little bit there was just like this little wobble and I didn't go very far I went like like half a mile and I just started going really slow I thought you know what I gotta pull over because I just felt this strange little wobble as I start to pull over just as I get to the side of the road all of a sudden I hear this clunk grind and what happened was it was the front uh, driver's side tire. All the bolts, it, it was on a different van, so it didn't have this cover for, for the bolts that, like, like this one has. All five bolts had come off and the, the axle had landed on the rim, the inside rim of the wheel, and it was grinding on the ins inside rim of the wheel. No bolts on it. I got out, the car was still just teetering on the rim of that wheel and I, oh, I found all the bolts in the middle of the road I picked them up jacked up the car put the bolts back on and kept going so I have no idea how those bolts got loose but it was a good thing that I wasn't going very fast when it happened oh, it's hot so this is the garage and um, I I have a suspicion that the oil leak is just the plug in the bottom of the pan, so I'm hoping that's what it is because yesterday they told me that it was some seal on the engine, and if that's what it is, like several hundred dollars to fix. So, brain. Tell me, yeah. tell me something about uh, Georgia. Georgia. Georgia is very good trip, very good trip. I have four seminars in the 
Tbilisi, Kutaisi. Uh, walk to the Bible? Walk to the Bible, yeah. And walk to the Bible. Very good time. Got very big gift, very big bless. Very wonderful. You know, I think taking care of a car is kind of like a marriage. There's a couple of things that I've noticed that are similar. One is that you have to be aware of these little teeny problems that crop up. Like, for me, when I was driving the car and I just felt something was a little bit out of whack, so I slowed down carefully and I stopped. Because sometimes those little problems, they're actually big problems. And it was a good thing I did, because what seemed like a little bit of a problem, that the car just felt a little weird, was a big problem. The wheel was coming off. And I think the same is true in marriage. You, you can't ignore those little problems. If something is wrong, if someone is upset at someone, if there are feelings of anger, uh, there's unforgiveness, you just can't let those things go. You have to deal with them quickly. The other thing is you have to do preventative maintenance. Like anything in this world, if you don't work at it, it will go bad. If you drive a car and you never change the oil, it will go bad. In fact, I had a car once that one ran dry on oil because I saw it dripping, I didn't do anything about it, and it ran dry and the engine seized up completely. A marriage is the same way. You have to do preventative maintenance. You have to constantly be working to bring that marriage back under God's Word and in line with the principles that God has given us. The reality is that the road of life, it's kind of like the roads in Ukraine. It's not all smooth. It is full of bumps and things that are going to cause damage to your life, that can cause damage to your marriage. And so if you're not constantly doing the work to keep that relationship strong and healthy, preventative maintenance, taking care of things immediately when you see a problem, you know, you're in, you're gonna be in for trouble. It might not happen right away, but eventually you will, you'll have some kind of trouble. So don't put it off. And by the way, that oil leak, it just turned out to be that the plug was the, in the oil pan was not quite put in right. So I got it fixed and it cost me nothing. Praise the Lord. I was praying that that would be the case and it was.